Hi Capricorn, welcome to my channel. We're doing your short and sweet. How is everybody? Um, before we start, I just want to um, inform everybody I'm using Sidereal Astrology together with Tarot. So please do not move the planets to Western because I do Sidereal. Plain and simple. Peanut butter and jelly. Okay, so let's begin. But everybody's welcome here. Just don't correct me. Thank you. <laughs> I'm using also ooh, limited edition. This is museum quality. It's going to be released in our store today by the time you're watching this. More than probably 50 kinds of tarot and books. I think the books is coming next week. But I have it already. But I will see. Okay. <laughs> it's here. So, but yeah. So, this is the Sola Busca tarot. Oh, gorgeous. Uh, so, let's begin here. Capricorn. Let's see. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Now. I see here that you're trying to make something um, like you're binding something that you feel that this is mine and you're scared to lose. Okay. Now, these are swords. Mm -hmm. If you see it here, you're hugging something, meaning like a situation. But this, the more that you do this, okay, the more that you feel drained. So this is a relationship that has caused some health issues in your life. Mm -hmm. Can be mental stress, can be anxiety, can be frustration, you know, and then it manifests in different in different ways. Because if for you to grab onto this energy, it would release its toxins to you. Mm -hmm. Anything that you do not let go, it would just release toxin. Mm -hmm. Because life is cannot be held, you know, like tight like this. Mm -hmm. Try holding your fist for like, I don't know, a good hour like this. And watch how you're like in pain already. So same as relationship. Same as anything. Mm -hmm. The challenge for humans is to understand that the hand should always be open. Mm -hmm. To give and then to receive, but never to hold. Here you're holding something. And it's res this is also your thoughts, Capricorn. So be careful of your thoughts because that can be your worst enemy. Mm -hmm. Now, this is, of course, about love. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Mm -hmm. You're trying to marry a situation because you love the person. Mm-hmm. With Saturn and Jupiter now in Capricorn, guys, remember, I do say Diral. Stop moving it into Aquarius. That is Western. Look at the stars. Look at in the sky in astronomy. Jupiter and Saturn is in the zodiac of Capricorn. Plain and simple. Okay? This causes fear. This whole, you know, um, um, Saturn being in your zodiac because Saturn rules fear. Mm -hmm. Saturn also is the part where you work hard, where you learn to really, um, I feel like um, this is what I should do. This is, you know, and it's teaching you, it's teaching you, it's teaching you. It can be very, very frustrating until you learn. Because mm -hmm. Saturn aspects the, the seventh also, until you learn about the partnership. Yeah. One thing that you're going to learn from this partnership is that the way I see this is that they would message you, text you, or call you only when they see fit. Mm -hmm. Only when they see fit. And this is what you're worried about. This is what you're stressed about. It's like the only time I get to see them is when they want to. The only time I get to hear from them is when they want to. Mm -hmm. And they're acting foolishly and childlike here. Mm -hmm. This is an Eight of Swords. Mm -hmm. This is a Three of Cups. Mm -hmm. Nine of so uh, Eight of Swords with a Ten of Cups over here. This is about being worried. Mm -hmm. When will I be happy? Mm -hmm. With Saturn and Capricorn, that's you know Saturn is not. The happiness planet Jupiter is, but since the two are together in your ascendant, then it's giving you a glimpse of hope. Jupiter is the savior. Jupiter is the happiness. 
and it's causing the niche uh, bang yoga meaning it cancels out the stress now jupiter will be here until november ish before it moves to aquarius so there will be a sense of relief mm -hmm. but once jupiter goes again i mean moves already to aquarius then you might be left out with the same paranoia mm -hmm, that you're trying to get over Now, I see that the person only thinks of their happiness is the Nine of Cups. And what you're wishing is for them to share their happiness with you. Probably go out, have vacation, spend time with you. Because mm -hmm. there is a need, but this person is always running away. Chances are every time you interact with them, every time you're messaging them, they're not to avail. They don't emotionally invest in this connection, is what I'm seeing. Because mm -hmm. I will tell you when it's a relationship season for you, it's not. Not at all. There may be some parts of you that is, because Saturn is teaching you, but it's going to be a hard lesson. It's going to be very draining because it's the Eight of Cups. The person always tells you, like, they don't have the time for you. Mm hmm they don't, you know, like the weekend is going to be canceled last minute. That's a page right there. Mm -hmm. Not mistaken. Yes. And there's always, um, I feel like some sort of argument and fight and just contradicting, you know. Like they always have to say something that will contradict the situation that will cause um, fights between the two of you. And they're always also the very defensive And yet you're still open to talk to them. You're still waiting for them to message you. You're still wanting to have this um, communication. Mm -hmm. And the only reason why you're stressed and you're worried is because it's a challenge for humans to let go. Everybody likes to hold on to something. The day will come, the day will go. So what do you really hold on to? Nothing. If you can't hold on to time, then everything that you have can be lost. So nothing that we should hold on to. Once we can hold on to time, then we have ownership. We don't own time. So everything is just borrowed. Everything, relationship, um, you know, time with people is just borrowed. All this can be gone in an instant. So this is the stress that you're facing. Mm -hmm. Saturn is control. So you may have this part right now. It's like, I'm trying to control and manage this relationship. Mm. But this person refuses. This person ignores. Mm. A relationship is only a challenge when you're holding on to it. If you accept it and it is what it is, then, you know, it's not about settling. Okay? It's about accepting. This person feels that it is a stress, you know, kind of a stressful situation to be involved um, with you. Because I feel like there is a sense of like, uh, you know, three of cups here can be codependency. You're only happy if you're with them, this and that. Find, find a hobby, not just a hobby. Does it make sense to you? Mm -hmm. Now, the reason why I said that it's affecting you tremendously is because one, Rahu is in your fifth house, and that is romance, you know? And then Saturn will aspect your seventh. So Rahu acts like Saturn. So you feel that, okay, I'm dating someone, I'm talking to someone. I wanna be with them. Relationship is giving birth on the fifth house. Rahu is gonna be there for another year or so. So you're feeling like, no, I wanna be together. Mm -hmm. Saturn says the same thing, I wanna be together, you know? But this person is not wanting that. Let me continue this reading. Link down there in the description box below. For everything that you need, you can find it at eatreadlove.me. Bye, guys.